Santa's reindeer. Let's see, you've got Dasher and Donner and Cupid and, and Jar Jar and Kevin and Dopey and Axel and, oh no, yeah. Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. And this week's video is also sponsored by Ebates. A big thank you goes out to Cordell, a viewer of Woodworking for Mere Mortals, who sent me this gift card holder. I thought it was such a cool idea that I made a whole bunch. Gift cards make great presents, especially for coworkers or for people who you just don't know what kind of things they like. But instead of giving them just the gift card, you can make it extra special by giving it to them in a handmade case. I'm gonna use a straight bit in my router to carve out a real thin slot. I've raised it just to the thickness of this gift card. I'll clamp this board on to use as a stop block. I wanna make the cut just the width of this card, so I'll just kind of line this up in the middle of the board. I can move my fence back to set the width of the card. I can test it out here and make sure that it's got a little bit of play in it. Now I can cut away this middle section. I'll just make a few passes by moving my fence forward each time. I can test that out now, make sure the card fits well. If this unevenness down here bothers you, you could probably square that up with a chisel or something. I'm not gonna worry about it. To help me cut out those very thin slices of wood, I'm gonna make a simple sled using a piece of plywood and a two by four. I'll screw the two by four on from the back of the plywood. Now I can square up this edge with the opposite edge and make them parallel. That gives me this nice square face to help me keep my fingers away from the blade. I'll attach this to my sled using hot glue. I'll move it over to cut off one more slice. By slicing it like that, I can get a really nice grain matching along the edges. Before I glue this up, I wanna test and make sure that the card fits in there snugly. I don't want it too loose that it's gonna just fall out. A little loose. So what I can do is just sand down these edges a little. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good fit. It slides in pretty easily, but doesn't come out when I tip it over. With that dry, I can carefully trim this down to a smaller size. I can't really test the depth of the slot using the card, so I'm going to use this piece of cardboard. Looks like I can cut quite a bit off here. my spindle sander to cut out the finger pull. You'd also use a saw. And I'll finish these with a few coats of spray lacquer. With the holiday shopping season upon us, I want to talk to you about the sponsor of this week's episode, Ebates, and show you how saving money is as easy as one, two, three. Thanks, Steve. Number one, sign up for a free account using the link in the description. Two, start shopping at over 1,800 stores. 1,800 stores? Who's got time for that? No, Steve, just the ones you shop at already. Stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, the NFL Shop, Nicole Miller, Crabtree and Evelyn, Victoria's Seek 3, get cash back on all your purchases. Shut the f Every quarter, Ebates will send you out a big fat check. You know what else you can do? Um, 
shop. Install the Ebates browser button. Oh yeah, yeah. It lets you know when you're on a site that offers deals. So really, Ebates is like magic. Mm, no, more like technology. But magical technology. No, it's nothing like that. But kind of? No. So if you're like me and do a lot of online shopping and never leave the house or see people. I hope you'll try out Ebates. It's free to sign up and on your first purchase of $25 or more, Ebates will give you a $15 gift card. Click on the special link down below to get started. If you're gonna make these, you might as well make a whole bunch because they're so simple. I made this one out of a two by four. Uh, this is black palm, which is really difficult to work with, but you know, it looks kind of cool. This orange colored wood is Paduk. These are my favorite. This wood is called Bacote. This is a good project to try out some exotic woods or use some of that exotic wood you've been saving because you haven't found a project good enough for it. And I'd love to see any holiday projects you're making this year. Please post them over at ForMereMortals.net or on the Woodworking for Mere Mortals Facebook page. I'd like to thank you for spending a few minutes of your day here with me at Woodworking for Mere Mortals. And I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I hope all of you have a great week and I'll see you next Friday. <laughs> I'm not really sure why I chose this outfit to look like shopping guy.